What's up Trojan fans? Here again with the Barkley Breakdown featuring Curtis McNeil, senior running back number 22, who this last weekend versus Arizona State caught his first touchdown off a little screen pass we had. Also did some tremendous blocking. Let's take a cl closer look at Curtis McNeil this week versus ASU. Well that play is awesome to Marquise Lee. Does he run away for more? Woods comes in to help one last time. Touchdown! So the first play we're going to look at comes at the end of the first quarter. First and ten, brand new drive for us. We needed some points. We were down in the game, down by seven. This is just a standard play that we call just hitches on the outside. The quarters ended up rolling up to play one-on-one -on -one with, the, with the receivers. The safeties are in tight in a cover four look. Uh, so we know these guys are one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, they were playing heavy outside. If you can tell, the corners were playing heavy outside to try to prevent fades. So Marquise just takes an inside slip and still beats him. And I see that. No, he's not going to run a hitch, but he's going to take it up top, take a three-step drop, and just put it out in front. This, this safety takes a poor angle, thinking it's going to be a short route. Goes right over the top, and Marquise ends up beating him to the edge. So this is a quick three-step drop. As you can see, I don't have a bunch of time. Got to get the ball out. Curtis McNeil here, the, the, the line is, is sliding to the right just on a zone protection, and you have the edge. When you, you saw 52 off the edge, you knew you had him always going through your head here. Um, our, our first rules on slide protection is uh, just get the defender hands down. Right. And uh, Coach Polo always tells us uh, to change it up, to, to play games with him. So right. this is the time I took, took the play game with him. So you act like you're going to cut him, but then you ended up getting him, tries to jump over you. and. Basically, that's what happens. Uh, the whole game, I'm cutting him, I'm cutting him. So this time I said, I played a little trick on him, and uh, I flinched at him, and then he thought I was going to cut him, so he jumped. And as soon as he jumped, I tried to hit him under his chin, but I hit him on his waist. <laughs> on his <sideboard>, huh? <laughs> yeah. But well, he can't do anything. That's can't what he did. Anything. I, you I did my the job. Edge. got his hands out the way and uh, cleared the lane for you. There we go. I like it. Let's take a look at the back view. Number 52. He tries to come off the edge. I think it's a cooler beat from behind right here. He can't do anything. Can't get to the quarterback. Kurt does a great job. Get the ball out. Playmaker's hands. Touchdown. And she's bringing everybody. Screen to McNeil. Breaks a hit. McNeil's got the first down and six. The next play comes in the second half as the third quarter is winding down. Uh, a little screen pass is called on third and long. In this case, Normally when they come, we, we're supposed to throw them up, but he didn't come too hard, so I just bluffed at him. Right, this is so soft, and I just got in my zone. So yeah, as you can see, Kirk kind of goes like the previous play, like he's going to bluff the edge, like he's going to block that guy, like we normally do on a quick route. These guys think he has a clear-cut hit on me. He's going to hit me, but just get it out. Kirk makes a little move, and we're gone. We call that the sidewalk <laughs> right behind the lineman. There it is. Look at that. Curtis McNeil's first reception, touchdown of his career. At a crucial time in the game, extended the lead, and that kind of sealed the deal for us. Thank you for tuning in to the Barclays Breakdown. As you can see, it's a tough job being a running back here, but we just fight on and play Trojan football. Tune in next week after we play UCLA and beat the Bruins. Fight, fight on. on.